been a while since we pulled up to Coda's. Everyone's asking, where's Coda? And he's just really busy. I'm really busy too. And Coda lives like two hours away from me. So he's got his thing going. I got my thing going back home. So I try and come here as often as I can, but it seems like I'm coming like once a month. I'd like to hang out more. I've just been so busy. Coda's just been grinding, building cars. But yeah, nothing's wrong. We're still good. We hang out. We mostly see each other at the drip track, but we're pulling up today because I don't know if you guys can see, I've got a bunch of stuff that I had at uh, Nico's yard. Not too much stuff, but I had some stuff at his yard and I had to drop off most of it to my container because Nico's yard was getting packed full of my trash. <laughs> Sorry, Nico. But that's why we're here today. Also, we got a new inventory car for ASAP. So, you guys will check that thing out today. We'll be pulling up here in a second. Cool little car. I think we're gonna be putting a lip kit on it today. And some coilovers. I'm not sure what the boys are doing. I don't even think Koda's here right now. I think just Takuya and Koji are here, but let's go see what's up with the boys. Oh, we arrived and no one's here. But I did notice my freaking bike is out. And Koda said it's been out since I blew the motor. I don't know how long ago, like, six months ago. I thought this thing has been in my container. It's just been rotting outside. How freaking sad. I gotta rebuild the whole thing. And now it seems like I gotta get some new parts because it's just been roasting. Dang it. I don't know why I thought this thing was in my container. That's pretty sad. All right, full rebuild coming soon because I spent way too much money on this thing for it to just be sitting out like this. Anyways, the boys are not here. So I got the whole yard to myself. Koda's got some new stuff going on over here. This crest is looking good. I got myself a Cresta as well inside the shop. We'll show you guys that in a second. But Koda's been killing it with the R34s lately. Look at this thing. Old GTR look-alike tank. Koda's 34. And I don't know if you guys saw on Koda's channel, but he just recently flipped his car. What are the chances me and him both totaled our cars within, it's like three months apart. Poor Koda just finished putting the new engine in, painting the engine bay, got everything done, and on the first lap, hit the tire wall, did a freaking kickflip onto the roof. Luckily he was okay, him and Koji were okay. This one was really brutal though, look. He slid through his roof. That's pretty insane. Yeah, this could have been really bad. Glad he's all right. Look at that trunk. So the trunk must have flown open. Oh my gosh. Not the TVs. Oh my gosh. How's that side? Oh no. Dang. Fender looks still usable. Side skirt door. That's about it. That's usable in this car. Maybe the head. A little bit of bodywork. Headlights are good. But yeah, pretty brutal. Anyways, while we're waiting for the boys to come, I gotta organize this container. Well, it's not as packed as I thought, but there's a lot of junk in here. What are these? I got wheels? I have no idea what these are. Are these even mine? Can I buy wheels? Oh, I bought wheels for my brother. Oh, my roll cage. Gotta get that. All right, anyways, I got some time. I gotta unload. Oh, this is so sad to look at. The car was so good. I don't have much stuff, but I got a couple bumpers. Some little stuff. All right, get this all out of here. gosh two hours later i feel like it's only been like an hour but got it kind of cleaned up in here i really want to make like racks and stuff because a lot of my random parts are in boxes and it'd be nice to like display stuff in here but this container is temporary so this will do for now Got a little bit organized just all my random junk that i've collected over the past two years of being in japan and building cars not much i've gotten rid of so much stuff 
Got the roll cage I forgot about. I still need to put this in my drift car. The new inventory car. Doesn't look like much, but Cresta. This is the Roulant G, so it has the Tor V interior, 1J, five speed, turbo. This thing is super nice. It's really clean. These aren't very popular. Uh, my brother used to have one, I'll pop a picture right here. We're trying to make this thing look kind of like that one. We went a different route and got rear lip kit. We're going with the uh, Koki trunk. So I got this trunk. This is a Zenki. So we're gonna turn it into a Koki. All you do is change the taillights and change the trunk. Got the rear lip, like I mentioned. We got side skirts. We also, are going a little bit different route with the front. They don't make many aero kits for this car and the ones they do make are all on back order and it takes months to get here. So we're going with the Chaser front bumper. My buddy actually made this work and it fits really well. So what you have to do is there's a bit of a space here, I believe, and we just put the Koki Grill. So I bought a Koki Grill. This is a Zanki Grill. The Koki Grill comes a little bit thicker around the edges and just gives the car a whole different vibe. So I'm excited to get this thing all fixed up. I've just been ordering parts and Coda called me and said all the parts are finally here. Time to start working on this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere today, to be honest. I think we wanna throw coilovers on. That's first things first. Exterior wise, I don't know, we'll see. I'm here for a couple hours and Coda is still not here. Look what Coda did to his shop. It's really legit. He's got some new tire racks here. I haven't been here in a while. Looks nice, Coda. Good job. Look who just pulled up. I was taking a break, waiting in my car for Coda to show up. Pulls up in this freaking sick 34. What the? Hey, buddy. Been waiting for you for like three hours. What is it? I've been by myself. This thing looks so good. What? It's the one I'm buying? I'm being around in my yard. Yeah, look at my container. I freaking <laughs> emptied it. Wow. That's so clean. This thing is sick. Is this for sale? Yeah. How much? You want? Yeah. <laughs> hey, this thing's cool. Just a GTT. GTR lookalike. Expensive. Oh, of course, all my cars gonna have T. <laughs> I scored these for 450 bucks for this set. What kind of tire do you have on it? I got some freaking Tampios, dude. Uh, Trampio. Some Trampios. <laughs> Martin's gonna be disappointed. I need r eights. <laughs> I just had those tires laying around on some stock S15 wheels, so I threw them on. Toto was just explaining to me what actually happened, because I don't really know what happened, but now I get it. So there's a tire wall here, and he was gonna initiate, but he what you like turned in you're just hovering your rear so you were actually drifting and then you're gonna initiate but the front wheel caught the tire no wheel. i was coming out of turn oh you're coming out of a turn yeah and almost so the where's the tire wall so wall here and then i was coming out of turn okay but i you did a drifting. little you did a little flick no i wasn't drifting i was coming out of turn done drifting done but dr under oversteer, like coming out of turn, but front wasn't front turning in. When so you kind of understood understeer the to the wall, but like didn't hit the rear. And then front wheel, so all I'm the frick, the lower control arm snapped. Wheel went into here, and that's when Coda did a flip. But if you see driver's side, is what hit first. So Coda actually hit and flipped over. 180 onto that skid skid and so hard to <laughs> it's like, hard to imagine it i went to doctor and was like yeah i flipped over what which side is the impact from the top like, <laughs> well like which side though i was like no it's from the top like, <laughs> i landed on my head <laughs> i landed on the top like oh like that was like yeah i was like she couldn't understand that. But flip, yeah, like, yeah, flip, but like landed on my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're okay, dude. Did you try and kick this in or something? No, bro, that's from the impact. Yeah. How did that? It looks like someone jumped like, on it. Literally, like I kicked it. 
going third third gear, probably like eighty, yeah. So you third got gear. air. Like yeah, I got air. My buddy was watching. I caught. There's air. no video. Nobody. Not one person. That was first thing in the morning. No one had a video. First it's lap. Crazy. I was telling him he just put this fresh motor and he just rebuilt this thing. A motor is fun. Motor Sherry. Unscratched. No but leak, it's just bro. Like, even flipping. <laughs> no, nothing no leaked. Leak. <laughs> My valve cover cracked when I flipped. The only thing that happened was this cracked. But... No, yeah. Warm up your tires. <sighs> yeah, definitely. I guess... That's a good advice. Warm yeah. up your tires. <laughs> yeah, I had too much confidence. <laughs> But the tire went into the firewall and Coda said it got stuck throttle. So the car was just like pinged out, revved out, and he had to turn it off. Oh, my like memory, like I, as I was upside down, dragging my head. You turned skidding, it off. I turned it off. <laughs> in my head. You put up the window, turned it off. No, my <laughs> well, window was wide open. I know, I noticed the window wasn't broken. So I was yeah, like, it what? Was wide open. But the, the rear window actually busted. Bro. This was from. You know how hard that. That explains it. Glass was like, you know. A trail of glass. Yeah. We literally skid like from the landing skid mark to where cars stopped was like. It's like 30 yards probably. Three cars land. Yeah, that's pretty far, like, dude. Just, You're mobbing. Yeah, the worst part is all the glass that goes in all this. I got so much glass stuck in my hands and stuff, cleaning my old car out. But you're throwing this away, yeah? It's gonna sit like this. It's gonna sit like this. I'll take the ZEs though. I just, you know, <laughs> you too soon. Too soon to ask for the ZEs. <laughs> you gotta fix it next week. Next week, new car. Mm. My car just got finished. Your car just got flipped. You can just never catch a break. <laughs> you never drift together. I wanted to see this thing. Did you show this thing? No. Not yet? Not yet. Oh, okay, you guys got to see Coda's channel for that one. There's a pretty crazy build you going on in here. It. I saw it. <laughs> I was like, ah, should I film it? No, nah, he probably doesn't want me to film it. Yeah, you guys will see that thing. <gasps> I want one of these. So sick. Four-door cave-in truck. Cruck. Anyway, they're pulling up to Coda's place. This guy just got. Uh... Nope, that's not Leah's. <laughs> Dang, that's a full drift car, bro. Bacon fenders and all. Hey, Dang. I haven't showed this. Is this really something you want to show and surprise people uh -huh. with? <laughs> what are you gonna clickbait it? <laughs> no. Dude, the bacon fender. So good. What's up with the, the rat's nest going on right here? The sunshade just fell apart in there? Yeah, when I removed it. Oh my gosh. What a mess, dude. It wasn't a mess when I saw it. This car oh. lived out for seven years. Seriously? Does it still run? It started right when it stopped. I like the gauge setup in there, dude. You got enough gauges in there, Coda? I've been looking for this wing. Can I buy it off of you? It's the last piece Leah needs. Looks cool, though. Anyways, we're back at Coda's. It's been a freaking long time since I've seen Coda's house. Because you're a big boy now. You get your own house, huh, Coda? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, we can try and get something done on this thing. I don't know why the rear bumper's off. This is supposed to stay on. We have to put the rear lip on, so we're going to throw this back on. Also, taillights. So, we have the Koki taillights and the Zinke taillights. It's the biggest difference. Koki is a little bit thinner and it has this little bottom piece. Luckily, it's already white, so that works out. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Then we gotta throw the trunk on. Uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna get. Side skirts look pretty straightforward. I just have to take off like the stock mud flaps. The trunk, I need to switch this out. The key lock and figure out the wiring for the lights because I'm not too sure if this has a harness for these lights or how it works. Got the trunk off, tail lights are in. Now I gotta switch the trunk locks, so it's gonna be kind of annoying, but gotta do what you gotta do. Rear 
trunk done. Just gotta throw the rear bumper on and rear lip. So we have quite a bit to do still, but that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I still gotta put this thing on, but it's getting late. I had a late start today, but this is good enough for now. I don't know if I'm coming back to Coda's, but we might finish up the rest and then we'll do a little update video. But for now, back to Nico's yard. Back to the normal yard activities. Time to get this thing on the lift. We gotta get this thing ready for Heavy City, which is in two weeks. Can we do it? I don't know. We're gonna try that. Sounds good, Brandon. Take apart the whole front end, get the angle kit on, and then we'll be ready to party for now. You can hear the clutch, it's already got a good clutch in there. That's good. This thing's ready to drift. You right there, buddy? <laughs> the clutch is gnarly in this thing. I got the parts. Nico's already jamming. You've got all the knuckles, everything off. We gotta take everything apart. Tension rod brace. We're gonna do the same thing we do OMD style. Gusset the whole bottom, gusset the whole bottom. Nico's got quite a bit of work to do. Sway bar, shorten this so the angle kit doesn't hit. This actually looks pretty aftermarket, this sway bar. I'm gonna have to take a look at this and measure it. Might not have to do that. Welding a bar here across. I think you guys know we've done this enough on the channel, but you gotta rip everything off. Side skirts, front bumper, fenders. We got the wide fenders, all the stuff's in the car. I've got tie rods, inners and outers I gotta put on. Looks like the harness is already relocated. That's freaking amazing. But the hard part, this is when things get bloody and sweaty. Hammer out all this stuff, chipping coat. Nico's star. I'm gonna try to work on this at the same time. <laughs> Nico's whole hot side's missing, so. Yeah, what did you have to do? Just get a new manifold or weld it? Downpipe. Downpipe. This should be like half a day job. Hopefully we'll be ready to go drifting. But let's get this thing torn apart. So far so good. We've got side skirts, fenders, front bumper off. This thing is ready to get hammered out. All the fender wells, we still gotta disassemble bunch of stuff but I think Nico wants to cut the sway bar while it's on so we can shorten that. It's a little bit easier to measure while the sway bar is on so. Okay so far so good. I need to get out of here right now and run over to an office that we're trying to rent out. Leah's here. We're gonna check it out, see if we're gonna grab it. This is one location we're looking at. I mean, it's new. It's not gonna be finished till the end of the month. This place is so cheap though. I don't know how they're gonna finish this in two weeks, but this is the first floor. Apparently this is a room. You're gonna block this off. You got your closets. You have your little living room here, kitchen over there, bath. This is about $450 a month, which is freaking awesome for office space. And it's like, Five minutes from Nico's. Well, we ended up eating at our local ramen spot. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> Mama you're said I can that. eat it. I got you this, your child. This looks good like this. What is this called, babe? Huh? Black what? Uh, black this? ramen from, this, from Kusha region. So fire. What is this? You dip it? Yeah. Like yes. mm. Papa, that looks good. I want that. I'm drawing stars. Alright, anyways. Let me smash. We just got a package. We just got a package. We just got a package. I wonder who it's from. I got those uh, DeLorean things. That's that. <laughs> DeLorean that OMD built. Uh -huh. Twin turbo stinger motor. E Thanks guys. Anyways, oh, Martin sent us a goodie box from OMD. Oh, this is exactly what we were talking about. This is what we need right now. Wait, you gotta grind it down. But anyways, yeah. Oh, you just bought this? 
this. No, you bought it for the tension rod brace. No. Or ten tension. No, I bought that one. Well, you can use it. If you guys don't know, you should know. You probably know. Can we stop? <laughs> we got new OMD knuckles for Leah's car. OMD kit going on. If you guys don't know OMD, hit them up. They have the best angle kits, hands down. I have it, Koda has it, Nico has it. A bunch of the boys have it out here in Japan. Arisa has it. It's the best kit. So you guys check out their website. They have them for sale. Look at this, handcrafted by the man himself, Ooh. Martin. Martin the robot. Thanks, Martin. These are going on. It's the only thing Leah's car is missing besides no turbo, but it'll still get down. Me and Nico have a lot to do today. Yesterday we got pretty far. Today's agenda, hammer out the fenders and Nico's gonna start welding. Date. This is looking pretty good. I hammered out most of the fender. Still gotta spray a couple more spots. It's looking all right. We've got these guys painted that Nismo silver. Ended up not welding the bottom brace because it's kind of overkill. This car is non turbo, so it shouldn't really need too much bracing. So we're just gonna leave it as is. And I don't think we're gonna brace this. So we're just gonna shorten the sway bar. That's what Nico's doing right now. That welded up. I was masking this off so I can paint the top part because it's pretty bad. We're getting there. We're going places. Let me do a little transition before and after paint. Just load it. All right, much better. Fender's gonna cover most of this stuff, but it's a nice little touch to make it look all clean. Same thing I did to my other car. These came out good. Got them in silver. Now we gotta mock up this sway bar. So we're gonna lift this thing up. Fully painted. So good. So nice, man, already. Stop. <laughs> okay, mock-up went good. It's perfectly centered, so sleeve goes on from here. Perfect. Weird. Jamming today, we got so much done. Look at this thing. Both sides fully painted. Got the tension rod braces painted. This thing's looking pretty. Next, Nico's welding that up. I'm gonna take these off and probably spray those silver as well. Pressure wash it, clean it up. I still need to hammer out this, relocate the battery. So there's quite a bit of work still, but we are freaking doing great on time. We hit the cinematics. All right, we got these popped out. Now we have to cut that old bump stop, make a smaller bump stop for the angle kit. Getting new ball joints. You can't really weld with those ball joints in, so that's why we popped them out. We didn't get any ones, so. And then, once we're done welding, paint these silver. All right. This freaking thing's coming along. Got my sway bar painted over here. Look at that jam. Paint this, you know, good. Now we just gotta cut this thing off. All right, so Nico cut off the original bump stops. 
I drew out the line for where we need to weld the plates for the new bump stop. So cutting those out now. Just gonna put this guy, boom, right there. And another one on the top. All right, look at that. I'm gonna try doing the next one. Now we gotta make a Nismo paint job. Look at that. Frickin' Nismo, dude. Perfect, we are ready. Well, not really, we still have to do the other side, but we did so much today. I'm gonna try and weld this. You think I can do it? You can, easy, man. Check this trash. First try, second, third try, got a little bit better. Fourth try, this guy. Kinda understanding it, but freaking welding is hard. I have a whole new respect for people who can weld first time, whatever. I'm happy with that. Look how bad I was first try. That's so bad. And started to understand the heat and where to weld. Whatever, it'll do. Grind it down, freaking paint it. At least we're learning. It's fun, I like it. Another day at the yard. I'm gonna press in these ball joints on the new freaking Nismo lower control arms. Look at these. Not the best paint job, but it'll do. <laughs> Go, baby. The train is going in. Ochoto. Ruin my paint there, Nico. It's okay. Can't see it. Next. Let me do this. Perfect. Let's go throw these on. All right, before we put all our homemade Nismo stuff on, we gotta remove and relocate. Not relocate, but push this over. Maybe take out the battery tray, because I got a hammer inside of this fender. Totally forgot, it's not just the back side, you got a hammer, you got a hammer the front too. Both sides, gotta take this coolant reservoir out. So there's still some stuff we gotta do before we start assembly, so let's get jamming. All right, we got this thing out of the way, so we have room to hammer there. Got the battery out, so we have room to hammer here, but I need to cut this, because this is such a pain to hammer. All right. You get mine. Yeah, I'm Alright. And that one little strangler. For how many minutes? Oh, uh, that's been like 10 minutes of Nico just doing this. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave you to it. We got this side all hammered out. Nice and smooth. In quite a bit here, so. No rubbing. These are all like this. So you gotta hammer all those in. Too bad. It'll do. You did it. Good boy. All right, we did it. That looks pretty, pretty promising. I just gotta paint it again. We're gonna throw all this on now. Oh, I'm freaking tired. All right, we are slowly getting there. We got the tension rod, braces on, lower control arms, sway bar. Subframes painted, cross member, whatever you want to call it. Now we just got to put the coilovers on and the knuckles. Let's go. All right, we had to take a little break because these are S14 knuckles and they're a bit different. They require a little washer here. Notice the S15 doesn't have that flat spot and this does. So in the meantime, we're waiting for Leah to bring those parts. I had a couple spares at home, thinking about cleaning this up. As you can see, I only sprayed the bottom half of the car. Now I'm going into the top part. So make this a little bit cleaner. Oh, look how good that looks. We got it all painted up. We got the headlights polished. 
This thing is looking freaking pretty. Leah should be coming soon. She's gonna be stoked. And look at that. Now we gotta do Nikos. We gotta go drifting in like 36 hours, Nico. All right. It should be done in like an hour, tops. All right, we got the last piece of the puzzle, kind of, sort of. We have brought the washers, we got the Martin Spec scrub enablers, 55 mil spacers. Brakes are on, rotors are on. This thing's almost ready. Now we just gotta get wheels. Excited? <laughs> All right, that's it for the night.